This is another example <coughs> of finding the formula for a rational function given a graph. So we have our graph here, and we want to attend all the major components. First, we want to check for any vertical asymptotes, because we know that will create some factors in the denominator. So right away, I see when I have one at negative 1, and looks like it's going to be right about 3. The graph kind of cuts off. We'll check this with our graph. We can check this with our graphing calculator when we're done. But I would say we have one at 1, which leads us to a factor of, oh, sorry, negative 1, which leads us to a factor of x plus 1, and 3, which leads us to a factor of x minus 3 in the denominator. Now we want to check for any possible multiplicities. Uh, it goes from positive to negative at the first vertical asymptote, so that would imply an odd multiplicity. So we'll just leave it at 1 for now. But here, it goes from negative to negative, so that implies an even multiplicity. We'll start with squared, and we can always adjust that if we need to later. So right now, there's our denominator. Now, the numerator is going to come from any x-intercepts. We have 1. Looks like it's at 1. So x minus 1 will be a factor in the numerator, because that will create that 0. Again, we want to check for multiplicities. Notice it goes up, hits the x-axis, and bounces off. That means an even multiplicity, so at least squared. Now we'll decide on that when we look for a horizontal asymptote. Judging by the behavior of our graph at the end, again, it's cut off, but notice that it's even below 1 here. This one's going to continue to go up. It looks like we have a horizontal asymptote at 0. So we want the degree of the denominator to be larger than the degree of the numerator. Well, that's what we have because we have a degree 3 on bottom and a degree 2 on top. So this looks like it's working pretty well. Last thing we want to do is make sure we pick a point that's not on the x-axis. So this is easy. It looks like it goes through 0, negative 1 because that will let us find any constant factor out here that will give us this exact graph. There's an infinite amount that have the same zeros and vertical asymptotes. We can just keep changing the constant. So y equals, so we're going to plug negative 1 in for y, because it's the y value, and 0 in for x. So we have negative 1 squared over 1 times negative 3 squared. So we have negative 1 equals a times a positive 1 ninth because of the squares. So a equals negative 9. We can now put together our rational function and check it in our graphing calculator. I'm going to put a negative 9 in for a times x minus 1, the quantity squared on in the numerator, over x plus 1 times x minus 3 squared. And that's how we can find the formula for a rational function given a graph.